We're mid-July, two or three weeks, maybe a month away from harvesting the wheat. And in order to do that, I need to change out the concaves on the combine. The concaves are a set of three arcs, let's say. Probably weigh 80 or 100 pounds a piece. And they go up here. I've got one left. Those are the three small wire ones for the wheat or oats, small grain. And these are the round bar ones, which are for corn and beans. They're still in there from last fall. The rotor, with these are RAS bars here. This rotor is oh, I don't know, about eight feet long and 30 inch diameter, and it spins at 500 odd RPMs as it brings in material from the front of the combine into the rotor. And then the distance between these RAS bars that are on the rotor, and there's a bunch of RAS bars all along bolted on, you can control the distance between the concave and the RAS bar, and the, the grain is threshed then between that space. And you can control and open it by this mechanism here, which is a, I don't know, actuator, I think you would call it, but essentially it turns this little gear, which turns this gear, which turns this pinion or rack, I can remember which is which, and that rotates this shaft, which lifts, raises and lowers these, which has the effect of raising and lowering this plate. All three concaves are bolted to this plate on this side, and they're locked in on the other side in kind of a pivot. So you have to take these out, and like I said, they're kind of heavy and then uh, put in the appropriate ones for whatever you're harvesting. So I'm in the middle of that right now. I've got the two easy ones out, and then there's a hard one. It's got a heavier flange that's on the end where it butts up against, uh, I guess it'd be the feeder house. Um, so I'm doing that, and then back here in the separator part of the uh, these grates, gonna have to go up a little bit, but that's relatively easy to do. You can sort of see, I can. I, I should be able to spin this, but I can't because I have to uh, clamp this together to keep this plate from swinging down once I take out this final concave. So there are the three that I'm going to replace. I'm going to put in after a coffee break, I think, once I get that final one out. And it can go in here. The corn head, I just got a puller. I'll show you that in a little bit. The... Um, Gonna swap out these rolls here, and the way you do that, there's a hole on the side right there on each side. You got to get a gear puller in there and put it on the end here. There's some roll pins you got to take out. So there's a process, and there's 12 of them. I'm gonna work on that next. Um, Here's two of the three round bar concaves that I've already taken out. And then again, once I'm done harvesting the grain, I'll uh, put them back in because I can harvest the corn this fall. Well, it could be a moot point if I don't get any rain here. We've had like a third of an inch of rain the last six weeks. So this is a giant gear puller. Some pretty hefty. Those will just fit in that hole I showed you back there in the uh, snap rolls uh, for for the corn head. So to pull them off, I needed that special piece of equipment. There's really no other way to to get those things off. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we will uh, catch you on the next one. Bye.